I've just arrived in Sky and uh, I've shot straight out to the old man of store. I'm going to do a hike down to Loch Karusik. It's raining cats and dogs. This bag is uh, absolutely wrecking my shoulders. I'm a bit worried about trying to find a camping spot for the night that's going to be dry. This uh, place is turning into a waterfall. Oh, there's the old man of store. There's just not really any places to camp up here. I'm going to buy the bullet and head back. Civilization of the site. Do you guys have any rooms tonight? Yeah, the last thing I want to do right now is put on my motorcycle gear. I'm just absolutely broken and wrecked. It feels like I've been through a SAS training or something like that. I'm absolutely shattered. I've just gotten up and uh, yeah, feeling feeling pretty rough to be honest. I've got a cracked lip from all the sun and the riding. Uh, my shoulders, oh, luckily they're not strained, but they're they're very sore. I'm struggling to hold this camera right now. It's still raining outside. The weather is still looking pretty average this morning, so I think I'm just going to hang out at the hotel until checkout time. Have a breakfast that's included thank God, and yeah, just sort all my gear out and make a bit of a plan for the next couple of days. I think I will stay in Sky, um, but yeah, I might just book an Airbnb at least tonight just to get all my stuff dry because my hiking boots are still drenched as well as my outdoor gear. I've also got that hole in my trousers, so it'd be good to sort that out, see if there's an outdoor store with a patch or something. Yeah, the shin is not too bad actually, the swelling's gone down, it's sore, it's going to bruise, but the scratch isn't too bad. Nothing like a bit of drama on the trip. After a hard-earned continental breakfast, I found out the room was actually going to cost £100 a night. Considering the state my gear and myself was in, I decided to book another night so I could spend the day putting my feet up and drying out the gear. I've just had a pretty chilled out day today, mainly just sat in bed and sorted out some footage and photos and stuff. It's been quite nice actually. My boots are nearly dry. They were absolutely soaked. I've taken the time to repair my trousers as well headed down the road and got a patch repair kit for those and yeah now I'm going to have a pint which I picked up from the pub underneath the hotel and gonna watch the Euros so life is good So I'm just leaving Port Free now I'm going to head down to Talisker Distillery and yeah, check out a bit of whiskey. I can't do a tour because they're all fully booked, but um, yeah, it'd be nice to have a look around the distillery anyway and uh, see what's on offer. just arrived down at the Talisker distillery. I can't book a tour, but I'm gonna have a bit of a look around anyway, maybe pick up a wee dram. I won't be drinking that now because I'm still gonna be driving throughout the day, but I'm feeling a lot fresher today after having the day off yesterday. It was quite nice. My, uh, my shoulders have recovered. My shin is still a little bit sore, but uh, yeah, definitely needed that rest. Hi there. Um, how much are the smaller ones? Uh, those are fourteen fifty. Fourteen fifty. Fourteen fifty. Okay. I will. We'll give that one a go. Yes, thank you. That's fine. Enjoy your whiskey. Thank you. We'll do. Thank you, mate. See ya. So I've got me a little ten-year single malt whiskey that should keep me warm in the cold camping nights. It felt great to be back on the bike again after taking a day off. 
I certainly wasn't in the mood for hiking, so today was purely about sitting back and enjoying the ride. Sky was delivering the goods as usual. The last location for the day was Neast Point Lighthouse. Still operational, the lighthouse was built in 1909 and stands at 19 metres tall. It is one of Scotland's most iconic lighthouses and sits on a picturesque 43 metre cliff which lays host to numerous species of seabirds. No part of me was interested in stretching the legs after my hiking disaster two days before, but once I saw the viewpoint, I couldn't help myself. And if you hadn't guessed again, Scotland had yet another jaw dropper of a wild camping spot in store for me. What a view to end off the evening. So it's about 7.30 in the morning. I've just spent the night out at Neast Point, above the lighthouse, lovely location. And yeah, it's, uh, it's very foggy this morning, so I can't see much. Uh, just a few sheep about. Yeah, I'm gonna pack up and head out to Applecross today and begin the North Coast 500, so I'm pretty excited to start that. Hopefully it's not foggy because there's a really awesome set of hairpin turns that go down uh, through a bit of a valley so fingers crossed the uh, the fog clears up because yeah it's going to be, be an awesome drive the nc 500 is a 516 mile loop that runs around the northernmost part of scotland rife with windy narrow roads it's a hot spot for bikers i was doing the loop clockwise which meant i'd be heading through black nabar first up a stunning single track road that winds its way through the Applecross Peninsula Mountains. The road was first built in 1822 and has the steepest ascent of any road climb in the UK. It is considered to be the holy grail of British climbs. After taking in the view from the top and having a bite to eat in Applecross, I continued the loop up the west coast where more spectacular driving awaited.
Gus 500, I did a bit of research uh, a little while back and uh, marked a spot as a wild cafe spot recommended on the internet. So let's, uh, let's see if it's going to be a good option. Well, it looks like there's a campsite. I hope it wasn't a campsite at Mark Gus. Well, it says the campsite is full, but I'll, uh, I'll just drop in there anyway and see, uh, ask if they know if you're allowed to wild camp, otherwise, uh, yeah, gonna have to uh, keep hunting. Oh, here we go. Inquiries. Please call at that door. Hello. Hi. Um, I've seen the campsite is full, is that correct? I, I read somewhere that you could wild camp on the beach, is that not a, not a not thing? Not really, because no. it's not, because the beach here is, um, it's covered with, you know, you've got houses looking onto yeah, the beach, exactly, you know, that yeah. is, you know yeah. you're overlooked all the time, so yeah. I wouldn't really do that, but you could try going on a wee bitty, um, yeah. stop at Dundonal Hotel, and they let people pitch up for a fibre or something, and then you can use your okay. facilities and you'd get food and a drink. So see what you okay. want to do. Sorry, yeah, yeah see what okay. you want to do. Yeah. Okay, right, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh well, that's a bummer. We'll head up the road and see if we can see any of those recommended campsites or that hotel option where you can stay on there uh, on the grass. Uh, yeah, otherwise I'll also just keep a lookout for wild camping spots because you never know what's out there. So I was heading up the road to look for some of the ladies recommendations however I just found this little place to pull over on the side of the road and I think this will probably work. It's a nice little uh, cliff again staying on the cliff side can't complain with that. There is a house over there but I think it's enough out of the way there's some trees over here so I can hide myself behind the trees and I think it should be all right. Well, you can't complain with this. Absolutely cracking view. Just made uh, made a bit of food, got a bit of broccoli, some potatoes, some carrots. I'm in dire need of some uh, greens and some veg, so it's going down a treat. Also got a drop of whiskey and uh, the rest of my chocolate, so life is good. <laughs> 